Hello out there, all you story timers. Today we'll be reading Are There Other Bears Out There by Julie Fox, a story about a polar bear cub, a stargazer who sets off on an adventure to find other bears around the world and learn all about their lives. And without further ado, sit back and relax. Rest your head, your nose, and your toes. Open your eyes. And open your ears. Put on a smile and enjoy the show. Are there any other bears out there? I wonder. Thought Polar Bear. And if there are other bears out there, do they have the same color hair as mine? Pardon me, it's fur, not hair, of course. Do other bears out there stare at the stars late at night like I do, imagining what the little bear might be up to? What do other bears out there wear? Anything at all? What do they eat for dinner? Do the other bears out there go to nursery or daycare when their mums and dads are busy hunting? I wish I could travel everywhere so that I could meet other bears. Assuming there are other bears out there, that is, thought Polar Bear. And so Polar Bear floated on an iceberg south towards a big piece of land, and there he saw a bear looking similar to himself, but with different color hair. Pardon me, fur, of course. Bears don't have hair. Actually, that other bear was brown and not white like Polar Bear. What's your name, Brown Bear? Polar Bear asked. My name is Brown Bear. What's yours? Asked the Brown Bear. My name is Polar Bear. Do you want to play? And so the two bears played. They first played in the woods, then they played in the clearing, then they played in the lake, and then it was time for dinner. There was fish for dinner that day at Brown Bear's burrow. Ah, fish again! Sighed Brown Bear. It's fish every day for dinner in my snowy burrow too. Polar Bear said. Snowy burrow! Cried Brown Bear. That must be so much fun. Well, everything is made of snow where I come from. It's very cold up there, said Polar Bear. Thank you for the lovely dinner," added Polar Bear. "But it's time for me to go back home. It's late, and my iceberg is starting to melt down here, as it's much warmer in your part of the world. Goodbye, Polar Bear. Would you like to play a game tomorrow?" asked Brown Bear. "I sure would!" cried Polar Bear excitedly. "We could ride my iceberg all the way towards the east and play with other bears." Assuming there are other bears out there, and so they did the following day. Polar Bear and Brown Bear floated on an iceberg all the way to the east, and there they saw a bear looking very much like them, but with white hair. Pardon me, fur. Bears don't have hair, and black spots all over. What's your name, White Bear with black spots? Polar Bear asked. My name is Panda Bear. What's yours? Asked the Spotty Bear. My name is Polar Bear. My friend's name is Brown Bear. Do you want to play? And so the three bears played. They first played in the bamboo forest. Then they climbed up the mountain and played there. Then they played in the bamboo forest again. And then it was time for dinner. There was bamboo and fish for dinner that day at Panda Bear's burrow. Ah, fish again! Sighed Brown Bear. It's actually mostly bamboo for dinner here. Today is special as we have guests, and when we have guests, we have fish. 
but we don't have many guests at all. Thank you for a lovely dinner, said Polar Bear after they had eaten. It was great to have something other than fish, that's for sure, said Brown Bear, but it's time for us to go back home. It's late and our iceberg is starting to melt down here, as it's much warmer in your part of the world. Goodbye, Polar Bear. Goodbye, Brown Bear. Would you like to play again tomorrow? asked Panda Bear. We sure would, cried Brown Bear excitedly. We could ride our iceberg up to the stars tomorrow and play with the little bear. We could even have dinner in her starry burrow, said Polar Bear. Ah, I'm guessing there'll be fish for dinner there too, sighed Brown Bear. I'm hoping there won't be bamboo for dinner. I am so tired of eating bamboo all the time, sighed Panda Bear. Whatever the little bear has for dinner up in the starry sky, said Polar Bear, it will probably be made of stars. There sure are lots of interesting bears out there. I hope that I get to meet them one day and ride with them on their iceberg. Up to the stars above to play with Little Bear. That would be so much fun. Until next time, my young storytimers, this is Mr. Whiskers saying meow and good night. Hello everyone, Mr. Whiskers here. Enjoying our story times? Be sure to subscribe to our channel and never miss a story. And tell your friends so they can join in the fun. Goodbye for meow.